not what we're here for at all. Um, <laughs> we're going to go again. We're here for the Bulls on E Guide to the Fantasy Football Season. I'm Gavin Casey. I'm joined by Mikey Trainer and Mark Farrelly from the Bulls on E Fantasy Football Podcast. Guys, it's almost time again. Um, tell me your respective approaches as Saturday looms large. Um, uh, thanks. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, I don't know though. I'm kind of an addict at this stage. I don't like it anymore. Uh, it's gotten too monotonous. Everyone's got the same players, but I just can't help but play it and get completely engulfed by everything that's going on. I'm very excited this year. Um, last year I wasn't so excited and I kind of tailed off, so I'm hoping that my early optimism is going to result in a full, healthy campaign. Pick my team already, got my starting players, I've got my player that I trust that I pick every year back again, so hopefully this year it'll be different and I stick around for the long haul. Um, who is a fair question? Well, Phil Jagielka is that player in question. You know, he's not a he's not a Hollywood name. He's not an Alexis Sanchez. He's not a, an exciting new signing. But every year, you always see Phil Jagielka up at the top top five when the overall statistics come out. So why not stick with Phil all year? That's what I'm going to do. Unless, of course, he starts playing crap, in which case he'll be dropped immediately. Mark, have you got any trusty stalwarts that you rely on year on year? Um, I go more by my gut and dreams and premonitions and that kind of thing. So um, I've had lads in the past like Bobby Zamora, um, I've had other guys like Clint Dempsey have always come before. So I'm just waiting on that moment. It hasn't happened yet. I've uh, been going by science and stats and all that kind of nonsense so far. And like they've led me down the roads of your Eden Hazards and your uh, Ivanoviches. But I think there's there's someone waiting there. I think a Tridini, someone that's going to pop up out of nowhere and leave my team's glory. I think that's something worth discussing definitely is the idea of sort of bargain signings guys in the like mid fours, early fives. Um, is there guys to watch out for? Do, do you have players in mind that, that might spring a surprise this season, the likes of um, maybe players from promoted sides or players that maybe nobody has heard about? Absolutely. Um, Akechi Anya is one straight away that jumps off. Every good team, every good fantasy team has bargains that have been bought early before their price jumps. So you've got to get ahead of the curve on that one, but I like Kechi Anya at 4.5 and Callum Wilson at 5.5 is another shape for me. Reese Oxford, 4 million defender for West Ham, 16 years old, captain of the West Ham side during pre-season. Um, he's been talked about a lot on some of the fancy football tip websites. Uh, he may not play much, but as a third choice, so for 4 million you're not going to do much better than that. Um, we were mentioning earlier that Reese Oxford might have the most Arsenal name in football. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's just crying out to be signed with him. We were saying he needs a bit of a French kind of before second barrel before he him. plays for Arsenal. He needs a, a kind of foreign, more exuberant second barrel on that double barrel name. Yeah, um, Reese Oxford Parfait is what I suggested. Um, Reese Oxford Marvo, something with an X, Marvo. something exotic. We were also discussing maybe that there might be a, a dearth of of quality strikers below that top echelon of your Agueros and your Rooney's. You mentioned that everybody is going to have Rooney in this year, and on what basis is the question? I don't know. I completely I have no idea. But maybe because Man United have sold two other strikers, I think Rooney's going to be the main lad now. But like, he goes in these runs of form, and sometimes we definitely have to have him. But he has no show no sign that that's going to happen. Sure. Just, although I do have. Also, him. I think a large part of it is the strengthening of the midfield this summer. Free up Rooney. He doesn't have to worry about any other sort of role in training every week. He's going to be an. You can just concentrate on his fantasy football, really. That's it. You know, getting yeah. those bonus points. How important is it, do you think, to wear navy shirts of some description when discussing fantasy football? It's integral. I wear them. I wear. I've got navy pajamas. I've got navy suits. Navy uh, bed clothes. Just, just in case. It is important, but it's not as important as imaginary microphones. Yeah, that's true. So, so yeah, on cheers, that note, cheers, guys. <laughs> uh, we'll wrap up. Um, remember to tune in to the Balls Out Fancy Football podcast that is out every Thursday. And subscribe to us on iTunes and SoundCloud at Balls Out And follow us on Twitter at Balls Out Also. Uh, take care and good luck with the new season.